Okay, so today I'm going to be replacing my vents with these Cyclone guys. Um, I just recently added those Max Air vents and this guy. And when they were doing the roof, they changed my roof vents for the sewer system. And now when we drive, we get a nice whiff of the sewer tank. I'm pretty sure it's that one, but it could be this one as well because I don't remember my top refrigerator vent being so large. So got these cyclone vents it's supposed to suck air out the back of them hopefully that stops it we'll see so we already got started here what you're going to want to do is take a putty knife a little plastic one here and uh scrape the putty off you'll uncover some screws and next we're going to take those screws off we should be able to lift this off um, and then we'll see what it looks like when we get there. So just a quick note, this has some uh, lap sealant underneath as well. So I'm having to run around the underneath to be able to remove this cap. So it looks like we're going to have to remove all of the outside and underneath as well. And when we get this off, we'll see what it looks like under there. Okay, we got it off. There was this sticky stuff around it. And I'm assuming this is, we're starting to get into my roof. We can see the different parts of the roof and how it's made. Um, so we're going to try and clean this up a little bit here. And uh, we'll go ahead and remove this. We'll reseal some lap sealing around here. And uh, see where we're at with everything. This is how it looks so far. All right, so I, uh, was so able to get all the putty up. Had to bring the blow dryer out there. It's only about 62 degrees today. Maybe a little bit too cold to do this, but oh well, we started. Uh, so I was able to scrape it up. Got a little bit of hot water with some dish soap. Kind of cleaned it up. Uh, still need to seal it in here. Dried it off. Just kind of kind of wait for it to dry. Maybe hit it with the blow dryer, and then uh, we need to drill some holes start putting it back together all right so we slid the bottom we slid the unit in at least we've got some tape right here we're going to use to hold it up and i like to do the little spinning test seems like it spins not fantastic but it spins but it's just metal inside plastic right there so i'm going to use a little piece of scotch tape here to hold this up other videos you watch, you know, people might hold it up themselves, but I just don't want to mess with it. I'm going to drill three holes, screw it in, start to caulk it off. Uh, we're going to put some lap sealant on each of these holes right here before we slide this, this part down. And then we're going to seal the whole thing up really well. So far, it hasn't been too difficult. Just, you know, one of those where you get into it and there's just something else behind it. All right, so I drilled one hole, slapped a screw in here. I'll go ahead and drill the other two holes, put the screws in there, and then we'll start caulking. All right, so we got our lap sealant. They changed the color on this. It used to be green. I got this in the mail and almost lost it. So I verified it's the right number. It's the same as the one that I have that's green, but I've only got about a quarter of that left, so we're going to slap a new guy in here. Those that don't know on your caulking gun, you can actually break the tip right here. Just squeeze the handle, cut the tip off, you don't need a knife. Then you got your poker right here, pop it, slap her in, get going. So, like I said, put the screws in here. I'm gonna fill this area up with some sealant. Tap over the holes real quick. Then we're gonna lower this plate down. We're gonna seal the plate to the roof. We're also gonna seal the gap between the vent and the plate. And that'll be it. See how she looks. All right, so we got some sealing all around the bottom of it. We're gonna go ahead and take the tape off. Let that drop down. Okay, and then we're going to seal all around here. We're gonna drop a big bead all the way around the outside. Make sure it's kind of centered. That's it. 
Yeah, if you can see in here, it's just like metal through plastic, so I don't know if it's supposed to. It seems like it spins all right. It should do the trick. All right, so here we are. All installed. Got some lamp sealing on there. I never feel like I do a good job with the caulking gun. I always feel like it gets all over the place, but I think that's the benefit of the lap sealant is it kind of self levels. So you can just make a big mess and it'll kind of work itself out. It's almost maybe even better if you make a big mess. I don't know, I'm just saying that to make myself feel better. So <clears throat> all in all, tools that I needed for the job, I had a Phillips screwdriver, a plastic uh, putty knife, blow dryer, one three eighths, in, or I'm sorry, three thirty second inch drill bit, a drill, lap sealant, caulking gun, uh, some soap and water, oh, actually hot soap and water and a little bit of Dawn dish soap. And uh, yeah, got that old righty guy off, got our new guy on. Oh, look at that, it's blowing with the wind. Isn't that cute? It's already working. Gotta love that when it just starts working right away. So, yeah. <sighs> Any questions, comments? Click subscribe. Drop a comment in the uh, box on the bottom. I don't know how that stuff goes, man. I don't do that kind of stuff, guys. Hope you guys liked the video. Hope this helped. Uh, really, really simple thing to do. Um, if you've been thinking about it, there should be nothing holding you back. Just get out here and do it. Have a great day, guys. Stay safe out there. Okay, here we are, round two. We're on the other side. I think this is the side that's giving me the problem because I put this max air vent on, and I'll bet you that there's the air comes off while we're driving and whew, circles, circles its way up and into this crapper pipe. I'll bet you anything it's coming from this side, but we learned a few things. So we got everything up here that we need this time, so there's no more back and forth. Got our lap sealant, we got our drill with our 3 30 seconds, I believe. You're gonna have to check the manual. Soap and water. Our cyclone vent. This one spins a little better than the other one. I'm glad I got that one on this side. Putty knife, Phillips head screwdriver, blow dryer, little rag. This time I'm gonna try blow drying this the whole time while I'm doing it. See if I can get it off quicker, maybe a little bit easier. That was a pretty good trick. It, it definitely felt like it loosened it up. So I don't even know if I'm gonna post this. We'll see, if you're seeing this, you're lucky. Okay, so we got the new one installed. Went pretty easy. This time I used the blow dryer and I just puttied it up to the side of it and then took the screws out, ran the putty knife around the underside. And now this whole thing just comes as one piece not much to clean up. Definitely the way I'd recommend doing it going forward if you can. It's just a little bit cleaner.